वेलकम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर मेथड्स फॉर स्टरलाइजेशन यूज्ड इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री फॉर इजी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी विल डिवाइड देम इनटू टू कैटेगरीज फर्स्ट स्टरलाइजेशन मेथड्स यूजिंग रेज्ड टेंपरेचर और इंक्रीज्ड टेंपरेचर इन व्हिच वी इंक्लूड ऑटोक्लेविंग दैट इज एचपीएचवी स्टीम स्टरलाइजेशन ड्राई हीट स्टरलाइजेशन फ्रेम स्टरलाइजेशन एंड हॉट एयर स्टरलाइजेशन एंड सेकंड कैटेगरी इज स्टरलाइजेशन मेथड्स विदाउट रेजिंग और इंक्रीजिंग टेंपरेचर व्हिच इंक्लूड्स फिल्ट्रेशन मेथड केमिकल स्टरलाइजेशन गैसेस स्टरलाइजेशन एंड रेडिएशन स्टरलाइजेशन मेथड व्हाट इज वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑटोक्लेव और एचपीएचवी स्टीम स्टरलाइजर स्टरलाइजेशन इज अचीव इन ऑटोक्लेव चेंबर ड्यू टू एक्सपोजर ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू हीट एंड प्रेशर ऑफ स्टीम फॉर वैलिडेटेड टाइम व्हिच एक्ट्स ऑन द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू किल देम द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ माइक्रोबियल डिस्ट्रक्शन इनवॉल्व्स डीनेचुरेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स डिसरप्शन ऑफ सेलुलर मेम्ब्रेन्स एंड ultimately the inactivation of vital metabolic process within the microorganisms what is working principle of depressurization tunnel the tunnel subjects the pharmaceutical containers such as vials or ampules to high temperatures typically about 250 degrees celsius for a specified duration effectively sterilizing them this process kills microorganisms including bacteria by denaturing their proteins and disrupting their cellular structures rendering them non viable as a result the pharmaceutical containers becomes free from pyrogens which are the test microorganisms for moist heat sterilization or hpv steam sterilizer clostridium sporogenes aspergillus niger bacillus atrophius are the test microorganisms for moist heat sterilization or hpv steam sterilizer which are the test microorganisms for dry heat sterilization bacillus stearothermophilus or geobacillus stearothermophilus and bacillus subtilis are the commonly used test microorganisms for dry heat sterilization method why steam sterilization or autoclave sterilization is done at 121 degrees celsius for 30 minutes answer is lethality rate and saturated steam point are optimum at 121 degrees celsius hence autoclave sterilization cycle is taken at 121 degrees celsius saturated steam at 121 degrees celsius needs 15 minutes to kill microorganisms to reduce their population by 6 log in general industrial practice sterilization cycle is taken or run for 30 minutes as an overkill approach what should be the selection criteria for selecting appropriate sterilization method following are the five important selection criteria that should be considered while selecting appropriate sterilization method it includes material compatibility microbial load product design regulatory compliance and cost and time efficiency what is sterility assurance level or sal sal represents the probability of a non sterile unit in a batch or sterilized material A common SAL standard is 10 raised to minus 6 probability of a viable microorganism remaining, meaning a 6 log reduction in microbial population. This level of assurance is vital or important to minimize the risk of contamination and ensure product safety. Now the very basic question: What is log reduction? Consider the population of thousand is available or present in a particular surface and we divide it by the factor 10 then the remaining population will be 100 and here we will achieve one log reduction if for the same amount of population if you reduce it by the factor 100 that is if we divide it by 100 we will get the remaining population as 10 and that will be a two log reduction in very simple way dividing by 10 it will give one log reduction dividing by 100 it will give two log reduction and dividing by 1000 it will give three log reduction just count the number of zeros and that will be a log reduction here in case of six log reduction we reduce the population of 1 million to the one next question which are the chemicals used for chemical sterilization ethylene oxide hydrogen peroxide paracetic acid glutaraldehyde chlorine dioxide and ozone are the very commonly used chemicals for chemical sterilization explain about radiation method for sterilization radiation is a sterilization method used in the pharmaceutical industry to kill microorganisms by damaging their dna or cellular structure common types of radiations used include 
gamma radiation, electron beam radiation and X-ray radiations. Guidelines that are referred commonly are United States Pharmacopoeia and ISO guidelines. The radiation dose required for the sterilization depends on factors such as type of radiation, the nature of the product and the level of microbial contamination. Explain about filtration method for sterilization. Filtration is a common sterilization method in pharmaceuticals using membranes to trap microorganisms while allowing desired component to pass. Typically, sterilizing grade filters have pore size in the range of 0.2 to 0.45 micrometers which effectively capture bacteria, fungi and larger viruses. The guidelines that are commonly referred are USP chapter number 71 and European Pharmacopoeia chapter number 2.6.1. The commonly used MOCs are PES, PVDF and PTFE. These filters are challenged by the test such as bacterial retention test, aerosol challenge test and filter integrity testing like bubble point, diffusion and pressure hole test. What are the advantages of using sterilization technique in which temperature is not raised? Here are the 5 important advantages of using the sterilization technique in which temperature is not raised. It includes compatibility with heat sensitive materials, reduced energy consumption, minimal residue formation, shorter processing times and versatility and flexibility. Now the very basic question what is the primary objective of sterilization in the pharmaceutical manufacturing? The primary objective of sterilization in pharmaceutical manufacturing is to eliminate or inactivate microorganisms including bacteria, viruses and fungi to ensure product safety and efficacy. Reference USP chapter number 1211. How the effectiveness of sterilization technique is evaluated? Following are the 5 important techniques by which effectiveness of sterilization technique is evaluated. It includes challenging with biological indicators, secondly chemical indicators, sterility testing, process validation and monitoring critical process parameters. How should sterilization process be monitored and controlled to ensure product quality? Sterilization processes should be monitored and controlled through rigorous process validation, routine monitoring of critical process parameters and regular maintenance and calibration of sterilization equipment. What are the chemical indicators used to evaluate efficiency of sterilization technique? Following are the 5 types of chemical indicators that are used to evaluate efficiency of sterilization technique. It includes first class 1 chemical indicators, second class 2 chemical indicators, third class 3 chemical indicators, fourth ink based chemical indicators and fifth steam sterilization indicators. Dry heat sterilization is an alternative for moist heat sterilization particularly for heat sensitive materials. What are the limitations of dry heat sterilization method compared to autoclaving? Here are the few important points of limitations of dry heat sterilization method compared to autoclaving. First is dry heat sterilization method is comparatively slower. Secondly, dry heat technique requires higher temperature than the moist heat. Dry heat shows poor penetration. Dry heat is weaker on spores whereas moist heat is more stronger on spores. Validation challenges are more in case of dry heat sterilization technique. Possibility of material damage is also more. More importantly, this method gives less assurance. Why sterilization techniques are important in pharmaceutical industry? Sterilization helps to ensure that pharmaceutical products are safe to use by killing bacteria and controlling microbial populations. Sterilization helps to make formulations free of contaminants, pyrogens, microbes and microbial spores. Last and important question which guidelines are commonly referred for sterilization methods in pharmaceutical industry. The commonly referred guidelines are USP General Chapter Number 1211, USP General Chapter Number 1229, ISO 13408, ISO 11135 and ISO 11137. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.